Now, the media giant Time Warner is buying the social networking website Bebo for almost £420 million. The move is aimed to boost Time Warner's AOL internet division as it decides whether or not to split the business off from the group. Bebo, which claims to have around 40 million users worldwide, is the second biggest social networking site in Britain after Facebook. Joining me now is Daniel King, general manager from the online research company Hitwise UK. I mean, how important is, is something like Bebo as a, as a business phenomenon, apart from anything else? Hi, Michael. Um, it, it's hugely important and obviously follows on um, from the other social networks, which is obviously selling at a prime, uh, follows on obviously the um, acquisition of uh, YouTube, by Google, yeah. um, as well as MySpace by News Corp, uh, both which were sort of well over the sort of the half million, uh, half million dollar mark. So it just still shows that there are still a lot of legs in this, uh, in this particular space. Appeal to the people who actually go on there. What sort of age group are they? I think we're looking at a young demographic audience. Uh, I think the interesting in our data that we've shown um, is that there is a very similar makeup between both the AOL crowd and the Bebo crowd, both in, uh, both in sex, both in age, um, and also I think in lifestyle attributes. Meaning that they've got money to spend. Yeah, I think we're seeing a sort of a, a sort of a, an upper working middle class uh, lifestyle, as well as a sort of a more middle class, uh, which seems to be consistent with both those particular brands. Mm. What's in it for the advertisers? They can presumably identify a great deal about the people who are actually logging on. Yeah, they? no, I think that's right. Um, I think that it's, it's buying into a community. Um, as uh, I think some of the other acquisitions have shown, you're basically buying into a huge panel um, of people which you can then do some quite sophisticated and more targeted marketing. And as to. I understand it, the advertising on things like this is growing almost exponentially. I mean, very much faster than the more traditional areas. Yeah, it? no, ab absolutely. Uh, I mean, social networks, uh, just to quote some figures, um, the actual social network sector has grown 132% in the last two years. Um, we're actually seeing now 8% of all the traffic to the entire internet industry going to social network sites here in the UK, and that's actually 9% of all internet use going to social networks in the US. I've often wondered how things like this actually get started, because unless you know where to look on the internet, then you don't know where to look, if you see what I mean. So how does, is it just word of mouth to start with in, in a kind of community? Yeah, I think... I mean, I, could I, you or I, well, not, we're too old, well, I am at least too old this kind of thing. Could somebody, you know, looking at this actually start their own networking site easily? Uh, you could. Um, I think what you need is um, obviously a sort of a, a unique selling point. You need yeah. a sort of a unique community uh, and I think um, a lot of that sort of just follows on afterwards. Um, I think one of the interesting things, again, one of the interesting things that our data shows is that actually the word Bebo is actually the most searched on word out of all UK searches in the whole UK across, across a plethora of different internet engines. So people are searching for it more than, let's say, other big brands like, like maybe uh, Hotmail or maybe eBay or some of the other sort of more recognised uh, uh, retailers. Daniel King, thanks very much indeed. If you've got you. your own website, Kay, k.com perhaps?